What if you are away from an EMF source? So here I picked a park that basically has very few electrical sources. There is a Coliseum over to my right, houses to my left, but I'm at least 50 yards to 100 yards away. So when I look at the electrical pollution on the tri-field meter, I get zero volts per meter. So zero volts per meter is probably not entirely accurate because I, I know there are electrical sources around me. So there is probably very small and it's beyond the ability for this meter to detect. So let's look at my body voltage and see what my body voltage is. So as before, my voltmeter is grounded through the black lead into the earth itself. I'm just gonna measure my body voltage in respect to the earth. And this is also voltage AC. I pinch the red lead with my fingers and I get a reading of about less than 12 millivolts AC. As you can see, my body voltage still goes up, not because my body is generating the electrical voltage. What's happening is that there are electromagnetic fields even around me right now because I'm next to a lamppost with electrical wiring, 50 yards from houses to my left and to a coliseum to my right. And therefore, that's enough to exert voltage AC onto my body but my meter, my tri-field meter was not sensitive enough to detect the electromagnetic fields that exists here, so therefore it read zero. But as you can see, that body voltage AC that we measure with a multimeter is a function of how strong the EMF source that I am standing by. So when I am in my house, my body voltage is higher. When I am next to a power line with a transformer, my body voltage is higher. And when I am next to a power substation, my body voltage is extremely high. So I'm gonna check my body voltage underneath some power lines with a transformer right above me. So I use a tri-field meter as before. It shows over 100 volts per meter worth of electrical pollution in this spot. So let's see what my body voltage is as I measure it with the Fluke 287. So my setup is really simple. I have a uh, barbecue skewer as I use as a grounding point for my voltmeter. The black lead is connected to the grounding rod or the barbecue skewer. And I'm standing on a rubber mat here because Often I see people measure their body voltage and they're standing in the grass with sandals like this. And even the blades of grass that touches your skin can actually drain off some of that electrical energy that's being induced through capacitive coupling on your body. So the best thing to do is to actually get a non-conductive mat like this, a rubber mat, and stand on it. And so my voltmeter is already zeroed out. I pinch the red lead here with my fingers. And my body voltage is over 1.8 volts AC. So look what happens when I ground myself to the earth barefoot. It goes down to um, it goes down below zero. And actually a little bit negative because remember I zeroed it out. With all the electrical pollution, as the source gets stronger and more intense, so is the effect on the human body. So yes. But what if you live next to a substation? Or what if you lived in a home that wasn't properly wired? Or if you are in a space with a lot of electrical pollution? That could potentially lead to health problems. And so here's an example. I'm next to a power substation here. Let's look at the tri-field meter and see what it reads. So at this substation, it's well over 350 volts per meter. That is much higher than the previous locations that I've checked my body voltage. So let's check my body voltage with this level of electrical pollution and see how high is my body voltage here. The black lead is granted to the earth. The red probe touches my body and I am measuring sometimes peaks as high as over five volts AC. Let's see what happens when I go barefoot on the ground. 
it goes down to zero. And remember, it's going minus because I zeroed out. There is some capacitive coupling effect on the probe wires themselves. And what's interesting is that I've shown in other videos that if actually using a grounding mat right next to the substation, the body voltage goes down, but the current that flows from your body to the earth actually goes up. So that's a whole different issue itself, and I need to make a video to explain that to the fullest, but the bottom line is that it doesn't act like a shield or a blocker of the EMF induced body voltage. It actually is a function of the body voltage draining off the body as I touch the earth and my body voltage goes to zero as I touch the earth here.